It's Vlogmas Year 10. Okay, I'm up. I thought I wouldn't wake up because I only got like seven hours of sleep, but I'm up. And it snowed last night. It's really turning into a wet rain, but it snowed. I'll show you. Just a light drizzling of snow. Incredible. <sighs> Maybe one of these days I'll make all of these peanut butter snickerdoodles that I have the ingredients out for. One of these days. Cheers. I'm leaving a little earlier for Zumba today than I normally do because I'm gonna have to drive slower in this snow slush situation that's outside. And speaking of snow slush, I've had a lot of our registry packages delivered that I was talking about in a recent Vlogmas episode, how I was just gonna send everything here. And I've been leaving them outside under the covered part of our porch, but I guess it rained at a slant. So now some of the boxes are wet and I have to push them out of the way before I go. Y'all, I genuinely think that men should be given a anger management test before they get their license because I was just on the highway and like I said, it's raining and like slush snowing outside. You know, I was just driving safely and there was a bunch of trucks, like transit trucks on the highway. So I went into the left lane to pass them and this guy like flashed his brights at me like, hey, you can come over. So I merged in front of him and then I just stayed there because there was a lot of trucks on my right and then he just starts like violently flashing his brights at me the guy behind me and I was like what the hell like do I have like a tail light out or something like that I don't know so then I just merge over to the right when I can and keep in mind I'm going fast you know like I'm going over the speed limit not under and he just started flashing them I get over and he looks at me and flips me off and was like fuck you and like screamed I was like what the fuck did I do? All I did was get in your lane, sir. I thought he was nice at first, but then I was like, what the hell? Anyways, really weird. I'm gonna go to class now. It's really cold out. I have to say y'all, I feel pretty confident in my abilities now to pick up choreography because I just on Tuesday learned some of the songs that are new and now I feel like I know them really well after like two classes, so. That's great. Class was awesome as usual. And we're actually having a Christmas Eve class as well on Saturday. So I was like, shit, okay, I'll try to be there. But now I'm going to go get dog food because we need it. Okay, I'm here at the Pet Palace. And I think that I'm gonna try to get some stuff for my dog's stockings as well. And just look for some extra special treaties on top of their food. I got raindrops all over my glasses, but don't call me raindrop glasses. I got some food for my dogs. And then I also got them freeze dried raw lamb. They love lamb. And then I also got them their fave, wild weenies. I'm gonna put these in their stockings. For Rue, I got a toy that has a removable squeaker. It's like um, a Velcro back, and then you can like take the squeaker in and out for quiet play, which I love quiet play. And then I also got Larry one of his little bagels again and a lot of people on his birthday Like it was a fall vlog I think before vlogmas started and I got him this for his birthday and a lot of people were like don't give him rawhide Like dogs cannot digest rawhide and this is a rawhide alternative. Okay, this is not rawhide It is beef tapioca and vegetable glycerin. And now I'm gonna go get gas and go home. I wanted to get some supplements while I was out, but I really didn't want to go to Target based off my last experience. It was just so crazy at Target. Wawa is proud to serve coffee that is rainforest. What up chicken butt? I'm just wearing boxers and my Bone Apple Tit merch today. Nothing crazy. We're going to a black tie party tonight with Finley's extended family. It's at some country club. We're gonna get bougie, you know, it's gonna be crazy. So I think I know what I'm wearing and I'm pretty sure Finley knows what he's wearing, but I definitely, you know, it's in Charlottesville. So we'll have to leave whenever Finley gets home from work. And I just need to get a bunch of editing done before then and um, start doing my makeup like a few hours before, not a few hours before we have to leave, but like an hour before we have to leave. What do you think about that, Rue? I don't think that we're gonna be sleeping there. I think we'll probably drive back home tonight. She's exhausted today. She keeps just 
closing her eyes, <laughs> falling asleep so fast. Hi, cutie pie. He's so handsome. Mmm, another day, another egg Sammy. Delicious. I used Dave's bread today, and then two sausages, Meredith dairy, sheep and goat, and egg in spinach. Love it. Just gonna close it up and enjoy it upstairs on the couch. All right, guys. Well, we're not going to the black tie Christmas party, and it's not because Whoa. I'm so exhausted that I can't go. I would have rallied. I really. I was about to go crack open a bottle of whiskey, drink it, maybe go down to the bar and get in a fist fight. But no, I was gonna maybe get some wine in me while I was doing my get ready with me. But we're not going anymore because of the weather. So I think most of you know this if you live in the US, but we're gonna have like historic low temperatures across a lot of the country. My friends in Colorado are experiencing negative three degree temperatures right now. Currently it's only 40 degrees where we live, but tomorrow it's supposed to drop down to like 13 degrees or nine degrees, right? Didn't you read that somewhere? I think it was 1300 degrees. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Liar. Anyways, um, a lot of updates have happened since Finley got home from work a little while ago. Number one being his parents said that they were no longer going to the black tie party because the roads were just so unsafe. And then Finley and I were both like, oh, it'll be fine. And we told his mom and she was like, I don't know, like we could just go down to Charlottesville another night. Like it's, it's pretty yucky out there. And my sister-in-law and her husband, they were supposed to fly to Florida. Um, today and they didn't make their flight because it got canceled. So now they're coming here to the house. Are you doing bunny ears on me? I was doing sign language. What the hell? Now they're coming here to my in-laws house. Not our house, but you know, they're gonna be here tonight and I guess try to make their flight in the morning or something, but it's just crazy. Craziness. So our plans have adjusted and we are no longer doing the black tie Christmas party. So Mm, what do you think we should do instead tonight? Video games! <laughs> I am really exhausted, so honestly. You know what you should do, babe, is you should wrap your presents finally that you haven't been wrapping for I days. wrap my presents on Christmas Eve, and no woman in my life is going to change that. <gasps> okay, Finley just went to go pick us up some pizza, and I'm watching Lindsay's Vlogmas from yesterday. I have my candle lit. Rue is here, tucked in, sleeping over there. She was eating her bone, if you can see it, but then she passed out. She's been really tired today. Same with Mr. Larry. So handsome. And I actually just kind of very quickly cleaned up in here because I don't know if my sister-in-law and her husband are going to come over tonight now that their flight was canceled. They actually called us because they were going like to a local restaurant and invited Finley and I to come with them. And we missed the call and then didn't see it until later. And by the time that they were there, there was like no four top tables. It was just like a whole thing. So Finley was like, you know what? You guys just eat there. Like, it's fine. I'm just going to go pick us up some pizza and we can hang out later. And I didn't know when we said hang out later, if that meant they would be coming here or we would be going over to my in-laws. Like, I really don't know. But either way, I'm just chilling out right now. I feel like you can see today how tired I am. Like my eyes just... It's really a lot, but I just made a little cocktail -y poo, my fave, apple cider and whiskey. It's delicious. And this is the last of my apple cider, so I just wanted to finish it. And I was already planning on drinking tonight if we had gone to the black tie party. So I was like, you know, just one cocktail while I finish this vlog from Lucinda Limon. It's a really good vlog, the baking party one, when we did our little baking party Zoom. I'm obsessed with doing this right now. Like I don't do it in real life. I only do it on the video. I don't know why. I'm just like, anyways, complete my heart. <laughs> oh, but I also wanted to say, I'm kind of glad that we're not going out to like a sit down meal tonight because we were planning on doing that tomorrow night for our engagement anniversary. Love it. I can't believe it's really almost been two years since we got engaged. Anyways, I was thinking that I would wrap presents tonight and then I remembered that I have like no tissue paper anymore and I only have gift bags that are like empty and I need more tissue paper. So honestly, I'm kind of hoping that we do go over to my in-laws tonight because then I can take more gift wrap from the closet in the basement. Finley got one pepperoni for himself. And one cheese for me, please. The last time I had this pizza, I remember I was getting drunk alone, I'm pretty sure, uh, to celebrate the end of Vlogmas last year. 
and Finley drove me to sober me up and get some pizza. And I was playing like Fergalicious and like all these other Black Eyed Peas songs in the car. Mm. Brings me back, you know. It's not the best pizza, but it is what it is. It's the closest by. Okay, we are about to go over to my in-laws house and I need to get more tissue paper as well as probably like one roll of wrapping paper. But before I came down here to the kitchen to film this, I was telling Finley, I was like, turn off your music. I need to do a vlog clip and update them on where we're going tonight. And he was like, why can't you just vlog silently? Why don't you know sign language? And I was like, I know the alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, <laughs> and he started closing his eyes and I was like, wait, no, like I actually remember it. P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Guys, I learned that in like third grade and it's just muscle memory at this point. Although I think B, it, like I feel like I'm doing B wrong. I think it's A B rather than like this. Anyways, I'm a little rusty, 25, and I learned that when I was probably seven or eight, so. But I really wanted to show you because he was totally trolling me and he kept being like, I'm watching, and would close his eyes and I got mad and I came downstairs to wait for him. And he said, don't leave without me. And I said, I'm going to leave. I'm leaving right now. I'm gonna drive over there. We're gonna have to take two separate cars because you didn't watch my performance. Hey everybody, welcome back to my vlog. Yeah, what he said. We're back from my in-laws house. I'm exhausted, it's like 10.30. We watched a horrible Christmas movie. We were all talking in the living room when we got there and we're like, well, maybe, I forget who suggested it. I think it was my mother-in-law. She was like, we should all watch a, like a terrible Christmas movie tonight. And so then we gave the remote to Finley and told him to pick one. And we started off with the princess switch switched again. I don't know, with Vanessa Hudgens, the switched again one. And then we were all so lost because it was the sequel and we had never seen the first one. So then we turned that off and we put on Christmas at Mistletoe Farm or something. And it was so bad. It was so bad. It was really a chaotic plot line. Um, Bino was a character in it that pretty much was the main character, but was introduced later on and it was just really confusing. We all had an overall confusing time. But, you know, laughs were had, we enjoyed each other's company, we came home, and now here we are. Lindsay, the last time you did this on the vlog, screenshotted it and sent it to me and said, who knew that Finley was seven months pregnant? Thanks, Lindsay. Appreciate you. Somebody asked. Finally. Somebody finally figured it out. He's with child. Check it out guys. You know the star that I thrifted at Goodwill the other day. We finally have it on the tree. And she looks so good, but she was a bitch to get up there because it wasn't, I actually don't think that this is a tree topper star. I think it's for something else. It was really hard to put up, but tree's looking real cute, real cute. I gotta fill in the blank spots with some gifts that I need to wrap. I forgot to get the gift wrap from my in-laws, like, of course, but what can you do? I'm actually gonna bring you downstairs for something even more awesome than wrapping presents right now. Hello, and welcome to my delirious baking show. I was just editing this vlog, and I was like, damn, I really thought I got more footage than this, you know? It was just a little weird. Here, let me put on these lights. Life-changing, right? I figured out that these lights are above the sink. For some reason, Finley and I both didn't ever realize that we had these lights that were right here. Right above the sink, it makes it so much brighter here in the kitchen. Anyways, I discovered them at my baking party, or the day that we did the baking party with my mom and sister, and that was really cute. So, similar vibes tonight, but uh, not the same vibe as having my mom and sister virtually hanging out with me but I'm gonna be making at least just the dough to chill because this dough has to chill for three hours and it can chill for up to four three to four days it said so I'm going to just make these peanut butter snickerdoodles because I've had the ingredients I said this morning when I woke up I was like maybe one day I'll make these <laughs> you know they've just the ingredients have just been sitting out here I've been looking at them 
since whatever day we did the baking party and I was gonna do them later that night but then I just never did so we're gonna do them now so I wanted to say before I start making these that this is from Sally's baking addiction I will link this recipe down below for you all right starting off with the dry ingredients I'm going to put in a cup and two tablespoons of all-purpose flour but put it into a separate bowl and whisk all of this together the dry ingredients before we put it into the wet later one cup guys also very exciting news in internet land today today jenna marbles and julian announced that they got married in november and i'm just so fucking happy for them if you're part of my twitch fam you know that we love to raid julian and he has thousands and thousands of viewers on his streams and i shit you not every single time that we raid him no matter what he's doing he's always like megan hughes thank you so much for the raid like he always notices he always shouts me out like just so nice and the dink fam are amazing they're so so freaking nice so i love watching his streams i'm so happy that twitch has kind of reintroduced me to creators like Julian and like Tyler Oakley and stuff like that like kind of bigger creators who I met back in the day at like VidCons and Playlist Lives and stuff like that but I haven't really you know like seen them since then and Twitch is just like a nice rating people on Twitch really is a nice way to just like say hey like how's it going I'm gonna send my love over to you and it's kind of like rekindled our online friendship very distantly um not that i ever really knew julian that well i only met him at vidcon one time and he's really chill really nice so i'm so happy for them it's just really exciting news i actually asked yesterday i asked finley i was like who do you think is going to get engaged this holiday season because there's always a few holiday engagement in this case it's just an announcement like a belated announcement but still so excited for them it was so nice to see updated photos of happy jenna marbles post internet you know career because she stopped you know living her life online so it was nice to see some updates from her now i'm adding in a half teaspoon of baking soda as well as a half teaspoon of cream of tartar and a quarter teaspoon of salt whenever recipes say whisk together something unless it's wet ingredients i never whisk it like why would i put a whisk in dry ingredients i know that some people are going to comment and be like because it aerates the flour or something but i just literally i've never done that <laughs> just like whatever like mixing it with my little measuring spoon is fine with me but now i'm going to put in one stick aka 113 grams of butter and the butter that we have here there was so many sticks of butter at this guest house when we moved in and so i've still been using a bunch of it up and it's like pure irish butter these are eight ounce packages 227 grams so i'm going to cut it in half and then cream it in here butter and in this recipe you can use packed light or dark brown sugar so i'm using light today because that's what i have and we're going to do three fourths a cup of the packed brown sugar. This is the last one coming up. Three. And then a quarter cup of granulated sugar. Glad it's just a quarter cup because I am running low. Cream it. Laura. Cream it. Laura. Larry loves clam. Laura. Turn up the radio. Last my makeup tonight. So we're gonna let that cream for about two minutes and then we're gonna add in an egg and then add in peanut butter, vanilla extract. Keep going with it, but I'll look back on that in a second. All right, egg alert. Whoa, a lot of that went the wrong way. It says to beat it for another minute after I add that in and then scrape down the sides and the bottom of the bowl bit of that action and we will add in the peanut butter and the vanilla extract how much peanut butter a half cup okay of creamy peanut butter by the way not chunky as well as a teaspoon of vanilla extract i feel like every baking recipe ever always asks for a teaspoon of vanilla we're gonna do a little teaspoon action here really need to make more vanilla extract turn that off for now i feel like it's bad to over mix and I always mix for a very long time, just because I'll like leave it on while I'm doing other shit, you know? Whoa, oh 
my god, that would've been so bad if I fucking dropped peanut butter everywhere. Half a cup of peanut butter. Are you a creamy peanut butter person or a chunky peanut butter person? Please comment below, I really wanna know. I'm not just saying that, I need to know this about you. I'm a creamy peanut butter girl. Now we're going to add in the flour mixture. But do this on a low speed so it doesn't go everywhere. I pretty much always only make cookies on the lowest setting of my mixer. All right, a couple of things here. First things first, do you see this amount of flour? It's just on the top of my, this always happens to me. It gets on the top. You have to like remix it in. Then this recipe actually calls for chopped peanuts, three fourths a cup of them. So I'm gonna add them in. I'm pretty sure we have some Virginia peanuts here. It's peanut country out here. Let me get those Virginia peanuts. Yep, there they are. Hand cooked and lightly salted. And I'm gonna cut these up. I guess when people like do stuff like this on a larger scale, don't they generally like put them all into a food processor or something so you don't have to hand cut them? But I don't really wanna get my food processor all dirty tonight. I'm just gonna do the hand cutting. There's not that many. And it depends on how fine you want it, you know? Like she says to chop the peanuts and they were kind of already roasted and halved a little bit, but it is nice to add in a little bit more crunch, I guess. I wonder if like I could have just added chunky peanut butter and it would have been the same kind of crunch. I don't think this is three fourths a cup. It's probably more like half a cup, but that's okay. I don't really want that many peanuts anyways. It just says cover and chill the cookie dough for at least three hours. So I'm just gonna clear off the little attachment here and we can finish baking these tomorrow, but I just wanted to start it off the process tonight at least. Also very conveniently, my mixer has one of these tops. It's like a silicone top. My mixer, this is not mine. This is like the one that's at this house, but my KitchenAid mixer did not come with this handled glass top situation, but I love it. I'll see your ass tomorrow, cookies. Thanks for watching. Delirious cooking with Megan. I say delirious because I'm so tired and it's like almost 1230. <laughs> it's time. Wait, is it the 22nd? Yeah. I don't know if Finley's gonna do his tonight or not. He's pretty into his Spider-Man game. So, bon appetit. All right, my little chicken nuggets. It's 1 a.m. now. So I'm just gonna finish editing and exporting this video. So I don't have another situation like today where I uploaded at 6 p.m. Eastern, so late. It was my latest upload of Vlogmas today because I didn't finish editing the video until I got home from Zumba and showered and ate and everything. And by the time that I got it like finished and exporting, it was like 4 p.m. or something. And then I uploaded it and it took so long. It took like two hours because it was just taking so long to run copyright checks because in yesterday's vlog, when I was at Finley's mom's art studio, we were playing like background Christmas instrumental music while we were working. And I guess it was just really upset about that. So it was running copyright checks for forever. So my apologies for the delayed upload today on the 22nd of December. Uh, well, I guess technically it's the 23rd now, which is crazy. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to end off this vlog today and make sure that I get all of my edits done before bed because that's always like a motivator for me. Get it done at night, upload it in the morning, carry on with my day, you know? And tomorrow, Lindsay and I and Jared and Finley are going to all do our Christmas gift exchange and vlog it. So I'm really excited about that. And I'm going to do the same thing with my friend Summer on FaceTime. We just have to find like a good time to open our gifts together. I got her package today. She got my package like two days ago or something. And I'm really excited about that. And then also we have our engagement anniversary and we're gonna go out to dinner at the place that we ate at before he proposed. So that's the plan for tomorrow. But for tonight, the plan is to hit the fucking hay because I'm exhausted. So I love you. Thanks for watching. Stay smiling. Bye, y'all. See you in the morning. Mm -hmm.